you and I both live in a feedback loop. Sounds crazy, but it's actually very kind of true. And this is especially true on the internet. And let me tell you a story about um, marketing to kind of show you all what I mean. So in marketing, there's a thing called retargeting. And basically the way this works is if someone visits your website, you can put a pixel on the bottom of that website that will then tag that person so you can advertise to them later. So Facebook has this, Google has this, a lot of ad networks have this. And what this means is if someone goes to your website to see your game, the second they go back to Facebook, you can then show them a Facebook ad for your game. And you know it's relevant because the person ended up on your website and you know they're interested because they're looking at the stuff on your website. So it's a really good way <clears throat> to target interested people and not waste ad money on people, random people that wouldn't be interested. Problem with this is it creates a sort of feedback loop on the internet. Uh, people start to see things that they visit. They start to see ads for things that they're interested in. Now this becomes a problem when you add in things like a Facebook algorithm, for example. So Facebook, it knows the stuff that you interact with. It knows the stuff you click like on, it knows the stuff you click on, it knows the, uh, the people that you look at their profiles, it knows all this stuff. So it starts to serve you information and websites and all this stuff related to what you click. It tells you, it shows you specific things related to your interest. So let's say you're into a certain type of game. Let's say you're really into platformers. You visit a bunch of websites, you click a bunch of links on Facebook. What starts happening is you get, you, you are now seeing you're in a feedback loop because you're seeing the specifics of the results of the things that you looked at and you're seeing more of it. So the more you look at, the more you see, the more you look at, the more you see and so on and so forth and amplifies out. Now this, this creates a problem <clears throat> for personal development because I think it amplifies the things that you see, right? Like if, if you if you go to conspiracy theory websites, you see a bunch of conspiracy theory shit. If you go to like anti-government websites, you see a bunch of anti-government stuff. If you pick a political side and you view a bunch of political stuff from that candidate, you start to see a bunch of stuff for them. And you can get lost down this rabbit hole of information and you can develop a worldview that is not complete. It's, it's partial. It's a piece of the world, but you are seeing an amplified version of one section of what the world is based on the things that you like. And you have to understand how all of this stuff works because if you don't, you think the world is that way. Like, I remember my mom, when she first got on Facebook, she was telling me that the world is getting so more violent and she was scared scared of all this stuff but i looked at her facebook feed and there's all these news stories of horrific accidents but she was clicking on all this stuff she was visiting these websites she was getting ads for this stuff and then she was seeing more and more and more of it because that was the stuff that she clicked on so to her everything was being amplified a thousand fold and the world was this horrible place that was filled with horrible accidents now i'm not going to get into a whole rant about how the news only shows the bad stuff and all that but i want to bring this to your attention even though it's outside of like game development, right? I wanna I wanna share this with you because <clears throat> it's important that you develop an understanding that you are creating a feedback loop. And this doesn't just apply on the internet, this applies offline as well. The people that you hang around with are a huge feedback loop to, to the type of person that you become. If you hang around with a bunch of losers all the time, guess what's gonna happen to you? You're gonna start to get in that that mode of like not doing anything, not going places. It's, I see this all the time in people. I, I, I do it myself. I've had to separate myself from people that honestly that I love and I care about, but they're not good for me to hang out with because they have a lack of ambition. They have lack of desire to progress themselves forward. Um, and you know, like I've had plenty of friends that I love to death and, and I wish them the best, but I can't be around them because they don't have the same drive that I have. And it starts to warp my worldview when I'm around them and what's possible and what's not possible. And 
<clears throat> I think it's really important for all of us to understand that like we all live in a feedback loop, right? We're all surrounded by people a lot of times that will feed us back the same things that we feed them. Uh, we're surrounded by websites that feed us back the information that we're interested in. We're surrounded by algorithms that are designed to give us the stuff that we like. And we forget that because of all this, we're seeing a warped view of the world. <clears throat> and it's dangerous. It's dangerous for you to think about... Uh, think that things are a certain way when you're only seeing a fraction of the story. So I would urge you uh, to look outside of your, your basic understanding and, and look at things that you don't agree with. Read things that you don't agree with. Uh, one of the things that I, I do that I think is really interesting, <clears throat> every time I read a book, an opinionated book on a subject, I'll usually try and find a book that has the opposite opinion of that author and I'll read that book too. Sometimes I read three, four, or five of the top books in any one uh, category because I think that you learn a lot from varied opinions and you, you'll you find that even in varied opinions there are similarities in some of the things that people say and you can learn a lot about a subject by reading two opposing viewpoints. And a lot of the stuff that I prevent, present on this channel um, is opposing advice, right? Like I present stuff that maybe directly um, opposes another idea. And that's intentional because I think the life is a paradox. It, it doesn't always have to be black and white or right and left. I think it's a giant uh, stream. It's a giant, like, you know, it goes from, there are many shades of gray. That's what I'm trying to say. And I would just urge you as a person to like learn more about things that you're maybe scared of or maybe that you fear and I find like especially this really helps my brain comprehend things it helps me understand the world better it helps with my empathy from person to person uh, and it just helps me in life to kind of understand and to grow and to become a better person I think and I know this isn't dev related, it isn't like technical or anything like that, but it's something that was on my mind and I want to share it with you guys. But <laughs> if you have anything to say, you have anything to comment on this, you have any um, ideas that you want to share, please leave them below in the comments. This is a discussion, not a dictation, so I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, but until tomorrow, once again, I'm Tim Ruswick. I'll see you then.